Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and happy Halloween! For today's extra spooky, scary October 31st slash Halloween special, we're playing an old game. This is called Home. It is a unique horror adventure by a man named Benjamin Rivers. This is a game for the iPad I'm playing on uh, my, my iPad. And this was a game I played when it first released. I was really, really young to play a scary game, and uh, I remember my dad also played it. And when he finished it, he like went online and stuff and um, read about the game. And I remember telling him like, "Oh yeah, this game had a really bad ending." And um, and then he came and he's like, "Why? Why was the ending bad?" And I told him why, and he was like, "Oh okay." And later he ended up telling me uh, that this game is a uh, is is a choose your own adventure style game with good endings, bad endings, lots of different things like that. So hopefully we're going to get a good ending. As you notice, this game said that it's about an hour and a half long. I'm going to try and do it in half the time. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh, oh my head. Where was I? It was so dark. This is also a pixelated game, by the way. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. Excellent. Alrighty, and as you can see, we have to sort of tap in the different directions, hold up if we want to hold up. What do we have here? Let's go through. Resident Evil style door opening. The house. Where was I? Alright, hopefully we get a good grasp of the controls. What is this? There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? I don't know. Cat. Okay, so we can go down the stairs or we can keep going out the door. Let's go out the door. Okay, let's go back. Hold on. Let's go down this. Let's go into the basement. I know the whole thing was like, oh, goosebumps. Stay out of the basement. Oh, we're going to go into the basement. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did it hurt my leg? I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. Oh, wait, this isn't the basement. Hold on. This is just, that's to get to the first floor of the house. Or uh, some people might call it the ground floor. I, however, call it the first floor. Computer. The desk had a computer and some papers on it, and a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? You did. Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo. Looked like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? I'm not quite sure. Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. Alright, so you'll notice uh, we're going to get asked a lot of those questions, sort of like, did I do X? Did I do Y? Um, and we're going to have to sort of piece together A, I think what happened, and B, um, how everything fits together. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. Seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. Good to know. Also worth mentioning, I have played this before. Uh, I was 150% a child. I do not remember what happened in this game. A thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic but exhausted. Did I free it? Sure, free the mouse. Nice. That would have been an achievement in a modern game. Achievement get. Hero of nature. A collection of rusty tools that at least look like they've seen a lot of use and were caked in damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in the shed? Uh, I don't know. What is this? I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Of course. It depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a far away click somewhere. Okay, well we opened some sort of a trap door somewhere. Hopefully it's a good trap door, not a bad trap door. By the way, it's currently 11 at night, and I have all the lights off, and it's just me and my microphone and the iPad and I guess the glow of the monitor and that as well. That was a creaky door. The old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. A black and white photo looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guessed. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? Of course. I slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. Maybe this is an iPad game, but it's still, at the end of the day, a point-and-click adventure game. And, well, if you're not taking every item in a point-and-click adventure game, are you even playing a point-and-click adventure game? Mirror. 
I looked like heck. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there's mud caked all over my shoes. Not to mention, apparently blood. The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Okay, let's go into this door then. The bathroom was spotless. Everything had been wiped to a sheen. I wondered if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning, or him. Could be either one, really. What is this? There was a photo development tray laying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty blurry. I thought I saw it look like treetops. Alrighty. We have to remember, we're still looking for that, um, that secret door somewhere. We did open up a secret door. Ouch. The door was taped and seemed to be stuck, but the smell, I guess, led to a kitchen. The switch in the wall appeared to have unlocked the door. Okay, good. Holy lord. Scary game. The box looked heavy, but there are marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I had found a way out. I must have moved it, right? He did. I heaved the box forward and it finally gave. Oh, good. And that's the only thing in this room, so we can go back and go down. There was a ladder going underground, where the box was. A dank smell arose from the package. Passage. Did I climb down the ladder? It's the only way to go. I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant. They didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Alrighty. Uh, so we can go back up, I guess. We don't really want to go back up, though. What is this? Footprints in the dirt. Looks more like more than one kind and a lot of traffic. Places all over were marked on the old map of town. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. Alrighty. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in the town over the last few years. Wait, there were photos. Photos of our house. What the heck was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more, tried to find some kind of information. What do you mean? I looked around, I saw everything. A work table covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? I'm half expecting zombies to appear, so yeah. I tucked the small handgun in my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring. Yeah, we don't want to be caught off guard, right? It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? Rusty ladder. Some kind of homemade rack slung together with poorly cut wooden rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that, did they? Well, I wouldn't imagine it was here if nobody used it, sir. The desk looked old and was caked with grime. On it, a stack of old faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out, and illegible notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. Hey, if, e, hell, er, af, ol, ro. None of it made any sense to me. Okay, so clearly someone was, uh, making a list and checking it twice. Crudely made shelves. They looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. Labels were worn and slick, but I could still see the warnings. Okay, so we can go down? It looked like a cage. It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Looks like we can go down and over. Let's go over, I guess? Let's go through this door. If this looks like progress, I'll turn around. There looked to be bones half dug into the ground, and the remains looked old. The faded clothes that stuck, stuck up amongst the dirt looked familiar. They looked like the clothes that the woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? Well, I would sure hope not. Early, I mean, it's possible, but... Yes, we would hope that the answer would be no to that, good sir. I think this game is on, like, a PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, Steam, and Xbox as well, by the way. And there are multiple endings, so if you guys are interested, you guys should check it out. Some kind of old boxes. They look like they were years old. Wait a minute, these boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remember throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the heck were they doing here? This guy sure asks, asks what the heck a lot. Was that bats? Is that a bat? It is a bat. That's okay. Bats aren't that scary. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. Wait, am I gonna fall? No, okay. Yeah, let's not go down the broken ladder. What? I heard something whisper. There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Yeah, maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. There was something whispering to me. I didn't hear what it said. My left ear heard it a lot. The rope I found would have let me climb down the broken ladder safely. Did I climb down? Yes. I could hear a faint hum, and the smell from before started to get worse. 
I imagine we could have also just jumped down the ladder and taken some damage. A bunch of old newspapers, wheat pasted together. A message had been hastily smeared on it. Danger, keep out, cave in. Or keep out danger due to cave in is actually what it said. I just sort of hashed it together a little bit. Uh, nothing over here to the side. Okay. I should probably check left first before I check right just to make sure. I just realized our protagonist has red hair. That's interesting. Um, by the way, my plan is to play this game in one shot. I don't know if I mentioned that. I couldn't- I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It was probably for the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg was bad enough as it is. If I could have, though, I would have run straight out of those awful tunnels. Who would have kept- who would keep such a place? At least I thought I had that old handgun. It seemed to work, and from the smell of it, it had already been used. I kept the gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar weight there. Sir, you must be missing your cell phone if you think that's a familiar weight. Uh, there was a dirt on the ground. It looked wet. And there was grass smeared within it. That is fresh then, sir. We can go up the ladder or over. Let's go over. I could hear a faint trickling sound, like water. What was that? Okay, there's something that says exit. That's pretty cool. Um, another door. What was the point of that noise? Also, this looks like it's going to go on forever. I'm going to go up the stairs. What was the point of that noise? That's like the the sound, the boom sound effect from Vine. That's how loud that was. All right, let's go up. Yikes, okay. Um, Garbage bags. Disgusting. It was a mess of filthy garbage bags. There were rips and tears in most of the bags. What looked like an old videotape was sticking out. Did I take the tape? Yes. I wasn't sure what I hoped to discover with the tape, but I took it anyway. Just to have the ability to say we own a tape. Hopefully later we find a video player and we can play that tape. Um, I am guessing this exit door isn't going to work. There's no way we can actually exit. There was a rusty ladder stuck into the water, which smelled disgusting. I knew we couldn't climb down that. Maybe we could find a way to drain the putrid water. Okay, so we have to find a way to drain the water first. Which I'm guessing is through the other doors. Door number one, maybe. Alright, let's go through this door. The door was locked. There was a musty smell from behind. This door opens. Nice. One. Okay, so it looks like one needs to be rotated to the right once. I thought I could turn this water valve to shut off its flow. Did I turn it? Yes. You see how in the background, hold on, let me move out of the way. Um, there's like the pixel on the right side, and now that uh, valve matches it, so we can go ahead and continue into room two, I guess. Uh, two is all the way down. I thought I could turn the water valve. We turned it once, and we turned it twice. That should be enough, right? Oh, three and four. We have more rooms to go to. Okay, three needs to be turned three times. Yes. Okay. And a third time. And this one just needs to be turned once. And that should be all. Looks like all. Okay, let's go ahead and leave. Yeah, unless room one has another uh, valve somewhere. I don't think it does. Is this door unlocked? No, it's still locked. Okay. I wonder if we could have found a key from before to, uh, to open that. I'm gonna check the exit now though. Maybe the water's drained? Is it? Is it not? I'm tapping the right side of the screen, okay. Yeah, it's more like the uh, the middle of the screen, not really the sides. Looked like the water drained out of that grate in the wall. Hmm, there was a small metal key left floating in the shallow pool of rancid water. Did I take it? Yes. Um, okay, so we found the small key. I wonder if that goes to the door up here. Wait, does it say the door was locked from one side? Or did it just say it was locked? We'll take a peek. I don't know. Hopefully we don't sit here for- the door was locked, there was a musty smell from inside. Uh, we don't have an inventory or anything, so we can't use the key. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think we have an inventory. I mean, there wasn't like an inventory in the tutorial section, so we should be fine. Let's just keep the key and move on, I guess. Maybe we'll find a use for it later. So this is a weird shaped key, so maybe if we have to open a box or something. The safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was this facility? The door was locked. I could see a faint light within. I guess says how old was that facility, because he's kind of like thinking in retrospect, I guess. Which is an interesting way to tell a story. I think it's called a frame narrative, when you're like... No. 
A frame narrative is someone telling someone else's story. Camera. There's a security camera in the room. There must have been a way to see what happened. Maybe the VHS tape I found could prove useful. I found another dead body. A sewer worker. He was a mess, but it looked like he'd been stabbed. I could see keyring that had fallen out of his pocket. Did I take it? Yes. I worked up the nerve to st snatch the keyring away and put it in the pocket of my own. That's gotta work to open the doors, right? This is gonna solve all of our uh, locked door problems. Right? How much do I have to backtrack, though? I used the keyring to unlock the door. Alright. We got some backtracking to do. The shelf full of security tapes was strictly organized, though covered in dust. Looks like the tape I found was the one that was missing from the shelf. Let's watch it. There was a dusty VCR on the security desk. I always wondered what was on the VHS tape. Did I play the tape? Oh no, the video showed a man right there in the sewers being attacked. The tape looked fuzzy and stretched, like somebody had tampered with it. It looked like there could have been two men. Good to know. Also, that was probably really loud. I had to turn my headphones off so I could hear. Uh, we're gonna go all the way back now because I want to see what was in this room up here as well. And I'm guessing the key works the same. Uh, so honestly, don't remember much from this game at all. I definitely don't remember ever watching a VHS tape though. So maybe we're on set for a um for a good ending. We just use the key ring here again, by the way. A collection of stale liquor bottles covered the floor. It says killer. The wall was littered with dozens of faded papers. Whoever did this was obsessed with some local murders. According to some of the clippings, the bodies had been found in ravines, in the forest, and in one case dumped in the back of an abandoned truck. I couldn't be sure, but I thought some of these articles had also been pasted back up in those tunnels. What is this? A faded receipt was half trampled on the floor. It was from the local train station. It was for two tickets. I didn't know what use it could be, but did I keep the receipt? Always. Guys, if the game... If you're playing a game... And it ever asks, hey, do you want to keep this? Yes, you do. You want to keep everything. As long as you don't have a maximum inventory size. Yikes! What is that? The kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made it sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? Huh. I know I just got done saying we take everything, so I'm going to take this. I slipped the knife into my boot since I had the gun in my pocket. Did I really need all this? I wonder if we're going to leave these sewers and we're going to be accused of the murder. I wonder if that's what's going to happen. And because we have all this evidence on us, they're going to arrest us. Okay, so maybe don't take everything. Alright, don't take everything. <laughs> Yikes, we're going to have to get rid of this quickly. I do not want to be arrested in this game. Or ever. Not just in the game. Would I need that gun or that knife before the end? Both weighed me down and aggravated my leg as I climbed that old ladder. I thought of that videotape, the thought of that videotape still gave me chills. Who was it that didn't want to be seen? Was it the same person that hid all those clippings away in the locked room? Suddenly, the awful smell of that sewer gave me a pine-scented blast of fresh air. Oh good, we're outside now. And this is where the police are going to find us, right? Right, right, right. Here we go. Okay. That is literally a Gordon Ramsay's kitchen nightmare sound effect. An old ladder leading up to an ancient water tower. The ladder needed to be extended so I could climb it. Did I extend the ladder? Yeah, I propped the latch and brought the ladder down. Climb. Okay. Bats. What's new, Scooby-Doo? Okay, more ladder. Wait, what is the point of climbing to the top of the tower? What is this? A patch of smeared dirt and grass. There was a beat up old wallet. I thought it was mine. Did I take it? Yes. I sewed the filthy wallet into my back pocket. I noticed it didn't contain any kind of gun permit. In fact, it didn't contain any kind of cards or ID at all. I thought I should recover my credit card and driver's license at least. From the railing, I could see over the woods and down the entrance to the sewers. Had I come through there before? If it did, someone definitely could have seen me. Okay. Um, back down we go. Was there another way we could have gone? Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, I continued left. I didn't realize there was eyeballs in there, but I'm pretty sure that's a cat. Wait. Do you guys hear that? That's the Minecraft walking on grass sound effect. I tried the little key I had fished out of the murky puddle in the sewers. It fit and heaved open the rusty door. 
There's the Gordon Ramsay sound effect again. The wind was picking up a bit. The night air had become strangely chilly. Okay, hold on, wait, go back through here. Because... Oh, hold on, wait, no, 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 okay, go back one more time. Yikes, that sound. This is, this is definitely an optional area. So we want to explore this area before we progress. Because you didn't have to get that key. Lamp. Dude, the Minecraft sounds are... That's so funny. I don't think I played Minecraft when I played this game when it first came out. The old train station was quiet as a tomb. The only sound that was... Was that of the increasing wind buffing the decrepit structure. Alright, you hit the word of the day thesaurus there. Good work. <laughs> Buffeting the decrepit structure. Uh, anything to see? There's doors to left and right. We'll go right first, I guess. An old map encased in glass hung on the wall. It was the train routes connected to that old station. As I looked at it, it seemed familiar. Of course, now I've found in those tunnels had similar locations marked. And the notes I found on the other bookshelf. His notes mentioned the water tower and even the train yard. What was he doing coming back here? Must have been the base of operations. Okay, this is an outside area. We walk on some Minecraft. The old train is ripped open and hanging from a shred of metal, as well as the broken fence was a dark stained patch of cloth. It looked synthetic, like some kind of outerwear. Inside the train's shell, I could still see a few faint impacts, like wounds. Could they have been bullet marks? Was somebody shot here? The ground was well worn, though I couldn't really make out anything. I realized I was touching the gun I found as I had that thought. Yeah, you know, I think, I think we we're, we accidentally survived the apocalypse. Really, that's my working theory, at least. Either we are going to be accused of the crimes, or it's the apocalypse. Alternatively. Why, okay, we gotta figure out why we have, like, amnesia or whatever. Why would our wallet be on the top of the watchtower also? An old ticket booth that looked fairly ruined. Inside the ticket window were sheets of paper, and what? What were these? Train receipts? I thought the receipt I had picked up might match these, but of course not. The station had been closed for years. The ticket must have been from the newer station that opened up on the other side of town, after this one was abandoned. However, I noticed a series of fresher-looking papers, covered in tiny notes, scribbles, and diagrams. Okay. So we didn't get anything here. I wonder if this is, uh, just like exploratory, right? Or, is there a time limit? Minecraft sounds. I wonder, that is ear splitting. I wonder what we gain from that. Besides just like more story, maybe? Extra story elements? This must have been the entrance to the forest that was mentioned on that map I'd seen. Whoever's poking around in those tunnels, uh, that man's house had scribbled notes on this place, but I couldn't make them out. Here, a sign pointed out the various campsites and walking paths within the woods. It mentioned a river and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. What is that? Oh, you can go into the brush. Let's go back. I guarantee this will just dead end us though. Oh, there's a couple of places we can enter the brush. Let's enter this one first. Okay, well we found the water. Loud water. Uh, I'll talk to the park bench in a second. The path ended in a cold-looking river. I wasn't sure if it was safe to cross. Oh, no, we didn't cross. In that darkness, it didn't seem wise to try. Maybe there was another option. We'll come back here if we have to. A dry old picnic table sat lonely among the trees. It had carvings and marks from the years of previous campers. As I tried to read some of the names and marks, I idly remembered thumb the knife I had found. If I wanted to, I could have carved something on that table. Did I? Yes. With a few crude strokes, I etched a simple design to the wood. R plus H. I felt like a teenager defacing the table. And we just, we use the knife, I guess. Wait, maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe it's gonna be like, the police gonna be like, Hey, did you use that knife? We're like, yeah, I used it to carve my name in the freeze, right? They don't care what we used it for. I trembled into the dirt and the grass was a plastic card of some kind. I rushed it off and was surprised to see it was my credit card. I wasn't sure if it was still usable, but it was mine. Did I take back my credit card? Yeah, why wouldn't you? Hope I could find my driver's license too. If it's your credit card, why would you not? Through the fence, I could see a dilapidated outbuilding. I wondered if I could find a way around. Oh uh, yeah, through the river. Probably. What is this? There was a fire pit there. It was still a bit warm and a few embers still burned at the bottom. Uh, okay, so we're in someone's trail. Two folding camping chairs were on the ground. One was knocked over. There was a couple of cans of beer spilled on the ground. Tent? 
The cheap dome tent slept two people. I show my flashlight inside and can see some bedrolls, two backpacks, and a cooler. Okay, we're just straight up in someone else's campsite. I've never been camping, so I don't really know camping etiquette. Um, but seems like something you probably don't want to be in. I hear people shuffling. What is this? There were some personal effects shoved back into the rock. Wait, there was a notebook there too. Did I read it? Yep. Inside the chief dollar store notebook was page after one page of names and lists. None of it made much sense. The newest page contained several names. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose, Rachel. Rachel, her name was the last one on the list, and it had a mark beside it in blue ink. The names Daphne and Olivia had been crossed out in the same blue ink. Cheryl, Heather, and Rose had also been crossed out, but those marks looked older and more faded. Um, so that's obviously the same list of names we found in the sewers earlier. There was like the you know, the blanks, or it was like, heb, fe, le, ble, whatever, you know, it was like, skipped, it skipped, that's, uh, that's what we had found, so that, that goes with that, same list of names, is what I'm getting at, all right, let's go through here now, this should be to the river again, we're gonna cross through the river, and who knows, maybe our leg will be soothed by cold water, uh, yes, we went, we crossed the river, I'd done this in the Oregon Trail like 80 times. What is that noise supposed to be? Two bodies, two young women were half dug into a nasty shallow grave between the trees. The younger looking one was still face up, her dead eyes gleaming against my flashlights. They deserve better than that. Did I clean up the gravesite? Uh, no. The thought of touching those poor girls almost made me sick. I left everything right where it was. The police could sort it out. Exactly. The police can sort it out. That's my, my exact sentiments. We've already, like, dead away back over the other side, yes. We've already, like, taken, uh, uh, like, someone's knife and their gun. We don't need to be mixing ourselves up with, uh, with burying people as well. We just need to go find phone service, and we'll give the police a call. That's the plan. Where do I go now? There's like two planes of existence. Where do I go now? Which way do I go now? That's a reference to Seventh Guest, which was a game we played a while ago. What is this? House. Wait, is this the train station again? No, this is not. This is like a gas station. The grimy sink had a small patch and it looked almost clean. Superb. There was a damp smelling plank leaning against the stall door. I might have been able to cross the river with it. Did I take it? Yes. I managed to carry the plank under my arm so it didn't get in the way. I thought we already crossed the river. Wait, what did we do with the river? I thought the whole point of going in the river like we did was to cross it. Oh my gosh, there's like a thousand passageways in this forest. Have I been here before? There's nothing here. That's a dead end. Alright. Let's go through this one then. Yeah, don't forget there's also just like a campsite with two people in it. Okay, wait. So, so we're back at the start now. Okay. So we go through here. Go through this one. And then far right? Yeah, there we go. And that's the river. This isn't the river. Wait, this isn't the river one bit. Wait, what? The sign was the same as the first one I'd seen. It must have been the exit to the other side of the woods. Oh. I'd finally found the exit. Once I left, I knew never wanted to return there. Do I go back to the river? I'm going to go back to the river. If I can figure out how to get back to the river, I want to at least try and cross it with the plank. All right, let's get out of here. Why is the forest like doored off? The forest started to thin out a bit and through the trees, I can make up parts of the town beyond. 
Uh, the mysteries of what were the forest were behind me, but I could still feel them on my neck like a warm breath. Those girls I had found. Someone had taken them from their campsite and been- and Oh! I forgot about the campsite. That was their campsite. I was even more eager to get somewhere safe and find a way to reach Rachel. Yeah, the first person we're calling... This is not a Minecraft sound effect, I don't think. Unless it's the really, really old gravel texture. Which is possible. I can't wait until I get rid of those noises. As I stepped through the door, I suddenly realized their auto parts factory where I had worked as a machinist all those years. The plant had closed, however, almost three years ago. Now, times were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. I hope we're not being followed. Equally loud noise. That's a scary noise. Okay, lots of doors and things. The door was locked tight. It seemed to be connected to the power box beside it. There was a large power box with five lights on it. Cables burst out of the box, snaking off to other parts of the factory. The metal was starting to wear and the cobwebs had been collected in the corners. The box wasn't receiving any power. The door was locked shut and there was a little electronic box under the handle. A sign was pasted from what it said, Danger, closed for repairs. What is this? One of the lockers hung open. Its contents were tossed around like someone had been looking for something. Okay. Um, let's go up this way then. Every part of this plant smelled old and rotted. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. What does it say? It contained yellow clippings of newspaper cartoons and notices. There were notes to and from the guys that worked there. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. Shout out to Norman. Whatever it said, we will never know. Hmm, a power panel. Looks like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Yes. Does that make it on? Power panel still wasn't working. Did I try it again? Yes. Okay, now it's on. Uh, the open locker was stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boots. There was a photo of a woman taped to the inside, but it was scratched out and the face was unrecognizable. More power panels? Uh, push the switch. Oh, seemed to be working again. Nice. Over to the door. Shut tight. There was a rusty looking card slot on the side. Uh, so we're gonna have to find a key card of some kind and come back up to the second floor left hand side. And as we continue to, of course, look for switches for the power box. Because that is ultimately what we're after. Well, our old break table, the layer of dust and grime only made seeing this sting more. You really cared that much for your workplace? That like seeing it all broken, you're upset? Door had been hastily boarded up. Well, take a knife to it. Take a crowbar. Oh my gosh, imagine we get a crowbar and we have to go all the way back to like the start of the game where there was also a boarded up door. This was Norman's locker. The door was dented like someone had punched it. I don't remember him doing that when he worked here. Power box. Push the switch. Great, this one was working. Nice. I hear a heartbeat. There's on my footsteps. A utility shelf crammed with mismatched tools and items. There's a claw hammer on the shelf. Did I take the hammer? Yes. As I took the hammer, I noticed it wasn't as dusty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. This could just be a game about, like, homeless people. The locker was completely a mess. Hidden at the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Yes, we took the card, slipped the key card into the pocket. In the sense that, like, we're always here talking about, like, oh, there's a... There's weird. There's... This, this, has, been, this has been moved. This has been disturbed. Um, could just be a homeless person. All right, this should be the final panel, I think. Um, there we go. I think that's the last panel. There's nothing further to the left, right? Nope, blank wall. So second floor, we have the key card now. We also have the claw hammer to open the um, the the boarded up door. Hopefully, I think so. I have to use it for. Or once again, <laughs> imagine this game. At the end, they're like, "Hey, yeah, it's fine. You didn't commit any. Cr you're just like you're just a thief." So, uh, okay, yeah, we left the hammer on the floor. You're like, you're just a thief. Like, you've stolen so much. We're like, oops. This was my locker. There in the factory. It stank of booze. There was a picture of Rachel inside. It, it looked like it had been torn up. I thought I had taken that picture home when the factory closed. The floor was littered with old liquor bottles. I wonder if that man in the house had something to do with this. He sure had a lot of alcohol at his place. All right. Are we the man from the house? Is that, is that the twist? Are we the man? 
that would make sense because like it's our locker and uh you know if there's a oh wait a uh, key card second floor almost forgot it would make sense right like oh whoa our locker had a, a bad thing in it but why we weren't the bad guy ah we were the bad guy the key card i found seemed like it would pass through this reader did i use the key card yeah i slid the card through the old reader and turned the handle okay what is this there was some kind of ventilation hatch there it looked like i jumped to the room below my leg hurt enough as it was but i couldn't see another option did i jump no yeah no relax we don't want to shatter our legs okay boom so we 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 know second floor the door had somehow locked itself again there was no key card slot on this slide frick we have to there's literally no way there's literally no way gosh darn it i'm sorry oh man my leg hurt like heck i'm sorry dude Oh, our walking speed is so slow. There was a crumpled up letter on the floor. It had been scratched out heavily and it was hard to make out. Did I try to read the letter? Yeah. Most of the letter was violently scratched out with what looked to be like a ballpoint pen. All I could make out was need to. Just don't. Drinking. Need. Norman. Who was Norman writing to? Or, who was writing about Norman? That room at the top of the plant, the one with all the bottles. It was really getting to me. Maybe I was just distracted. Who went up there and used that room? As I exited the factory, I didn't recognize where I was going. My head ached terribly, and my leg was a mess. I'm sorry about the leg. I guess you probably could have gotten like a rope or something if you went down to the bottom first. Through the, the room that had the door panel. Unless that was just locked and we had to take the damage. I hope not, though. I mean, actually, it'd be great because I mean, I didn't mess up, but you know. Okay, uh, let's go right first. Right is a dead end. We're gonna go left. And right is okay. Another loud door. Hey, we're like in a city now. The garbage room is a disgusting mess of rotten food and slick back black bags. I saw a thin greenish corner poking out from one of the bags. It was my driver's license. It looked damaged. Did I take it back? Yeah. I cleaned the card up best I could. It looked pretty beat up. I was amazed to have found my credit card and now this. I chucked the card into my wallet next to my credit card. So that's definitely to prove our identity. It sounded like I was, go was going to start raining again. Right, at some point, someone's gonna be like, who are you? We're gonna be like, oh, I'm Jim. And be like, prove it. Credit card. Prove it with something else. Driver's license. I'd entered Norman's place. This was the back of the store that he ran. It was oddly quiet, except for the faint sound of a television. Who's watching television? I'm pretty sure this is the apocalypse. The entrance to the front of the store was locked from the inside. It looked like it couldn't just pop open. It needed a key. There's also a bit of blood on the keyhole, apparently. Okay. Found the source of the blood. Norman was cutting veggies. The TV still flickered some indecipherable channel. Okay, is there a TV remote? Hello. Oh no, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Norman, my coworker, was one of the few friends I had in town. Lay dead beside his armchair. His face and shirt were covered in blood. It looked like he'd been shot trying to get up. His eyes were still wide with shock. Norman, you deserve better than this. That I closed his eyes. No, I was too scared about Rachel to stay there another moment. No, I just don't want to touch deceased humans. Except for the dude who had the keys, because I was literally trapped. I guess this was Norman's kitchen table. He kept it clean enough, but there were still water rings from the, the two cups sat there in the wood. Question, why does Norman have a kitchen table on the second floor of his house? Kitchens go on the first floor. The kitchen trash bin smelled fresh. I didn't dig through the mess, did I? Do it. I found a hairpin amongst the rotting food and trash pocketed it. Oh, okay, good. So, uh, that's gonna be our, like, lockpick, I guess? The hairpin? Yeah, there's no way I'm touching a deceased person. Because that's gonna- that's gonna get me tagged. At some point in this game. I'm still presuming this guy is innocent. Maybe foolishly, but I'm saying he's innocent. Coat! Despite the shock of already finding Norman at state, seeing this turn my stomach just as much. It was one of Rachel's old fall coats. What was it doing there? Was she okay? Um, homeboy, she cheating. Inside the cabinet was a small but impressive collection of hunting rifles, shotguns, and a few items I didn't think were legal here. One of the slots on the rack was empty. The gun I had found seemed to match the others there. It was If the handgun was Norman's, what the heck was he, he doing with it? The gun would fit there. Did I place it back on the cabinet? No. 
Though it weighed on me, I found it a hard time parting with the weapon just then. You know what, actually, yeah. We're gonna- Oh no. I needed a second to think about it. Something dark stained this leave my stomach only tightened further. Cause now when we get caught by the police inevitably, they're gonna be like, who are you? Uh, I'm James. Okay, James, prove it. Reach into our pocket. Boom. Handgun falls out. What are you doing with the handgun? Pairpin snapped in half, so I threw it away. We, um, we picked the lock, right? Show me your license. We don't have a license. We're done. The general store was small, but it was clean. It had the usual things. Postcards, snacks, magazines, and canned goods. I never went there much. We should usually stop by after work if we ever needed anything. The register was mostly empty, and a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. Ice cream machine? Ice cream. The icebox seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of the contents were half melted. There's no sign of life. There are various postcards from the area, especially from the tourist traps. One of the postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. It looks to be in much better shape then. There's just been no signs of life. I'm feeling apocalypse. What I had seen. What had I seen? No one was dead, but I had no idea why. I don't know how he could be involved in all this, but the thought of him lying on the floor was up there was sickening. The only comfort I had was the gun I still carried, but was it really a comfort or a curse? The rain was coming down hard, but at least I was close to home. It wouldn't be long before I got my answers. Yeah, so you know what? I think uh, I think we actually made the right choice. If we're sticking with the police theory, then um, the police is going to be like, hey, uh, what, what? You know, they're going to go into his house, investigate. They're not going to see a, a firearm with our fingerprints on it. Which one's our house? I had the wrong gate. This one was locked. Okay. Is this one... This is ours? We live here? Are there other gates? The door only led me back. I had to find my house. Okay. So, hopefully those other two were locked as well. TV on road. Who puts a TV on the road? The neighborhood's local post box. A letter was sticking out as if someone hadn't pushed it all the way in. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look at the letter? That's a federal crime. That'd be our first federal cr that, that would be the first crime we actually committed. Right now, everything is like a misunderstanding, right? Like, oh, well, we, we can look at it. We just don't have to open it. There's no other transit, but the envelope was addressed to Norman. Carefully, I tore open the letter inside. It read, stay away. She's mine. That was it. No signature, no other information. Okay. Whoops. I just wanted to look at the envelope. I didn't want to actually open the letter. Wait. Please tell me I, can. I had entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding and chilled me throughout my body. I was expectant, but also afraid. Oh yeah, there's no chance I can go back. Okay, we're in our backyard. We have the Minecraft sounds again. Nice. Lovely. I held my breath as I approached my... our back door. I was terrified to step inside. The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breath, ragged and strained. I flicked the light switch by the door. The power was off. Surprise. I remember having breakfast here on this very table. Was that yesterday or sometime before? So I know I said we hadn't seen any life and I was like, oh, apocalypse. We also haven't seen any zombies. The door to the basement, it was locked. Where had I put that dang key? Uh, can we just leave? There was a small pile of mail on the floor, in front of the mail slot. How long I had been away? Had I been away? Why hadn't Rachel picked this up? Most of the content were bills. There was a credit card bill in there. Did I open it? Yes. I read the bill open and read it. To my surprise, it was something about canceling my credit card due to non-payment. The front door was locked from inside. I couldn't go out though. I needed to see if Rachel was here. Alright, so very clearly, uh, we've been gone for a long time. Months. Uh, to the point where they canceled our credit card. Uh, the door was stuck shut. There was an old-fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. Okay, we need to find keys. Gotta find keys. Got to, got to, got to find keys. I had found the last missing piece from my wallet. The old photo of Rachel and I stared back at me, reminding me of better times. It didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Did I keep it anyway? Yeah. I replaced the photo of my wallet, feeling like I had got a part of my life back. Still, the image made me uneasy. Why had I thrown it away? Uh, it fell out of your wallets when you were having a dance party. Our television. I had purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterwards, but by then it was too late. Okay. Were we in- Okay, is this like an allegory for like a rehab? Clearly this guy has a drinking problem. We just- we're just in rehab. Our hallway mirror had been smashed, its pieces scattered around the floor. 
or we're dead and we're looking at our at what remains of our life which is nothing because rachel moved in with norman our sink which needed to be replaced one of the taps always stuck but i hadn't got around to fixing it yet we were lucky enough to get a house with one of the most wonderful old claw-footed bathtubs i like a good bathtub i haven't had a bath in a while because bathtub is small and my state is perpetually in a drought but maybe soon Maybe soon. A computer. My laptop had been left on. It only had a tiny little bit of power left. The, on the screen was a website about the old water tower. There was a key in the top drawer of my desk. Did I take it? Yes, I pocketed the key. Why are we just always looking at water towers? I mean, my gosh. First thing we notice when we go to find, like, the, uh, the postcards, there's one of the water tower. Cool. The books there were half mine, half Rachel's. Hey, now that I look more closely, it looked like the man in that house had some of the same books as I did. Is this the same house? There was a suitcase on the bed. It was Rachel's. I remembered it from that trip we took out west. Did I open the suitcase? Yeah. I wasn't sure what to make of the suitcase content. Inside were a few days worth of clothes, some toiletries, and a train ticket. I checked the date and time. It matched the receipt I found back in those horrible sewers. What was this? Rachel, who are you running away with? You. It was a family vacation. We were finally gonna go to Norway. Yep. Surprise. We're going to Norway. I couldn't name a single city in Norway. The door was stuck shut. There was an old-fashioned key underneath the handle. I have a key, don't I? What else is the key for? Did I go into this door? What did I need a key for? I needed a key in the first floor. Right? I think I needed a key in the first floor. But it's just gonna be like key to another key. Right? I unlocked the basement door. Right, yeah, we need to go to the basement. Okay. There were old Christmas decorations in the box. Not the time, it's Halloween, baby. The garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There was a dirty old key here. Did I take the key? I took the small key and tried to remember what it unlocked. Door on the second floor. There were old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. Standard basement stuff. I had put up this divider wall last summer so we could create a separate room in the basement. I hadn't finished it yet, so the door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed. I might have been able to break through if I had found something heavy enough. If only we didn't waste the hammer. I wonder if we actually had to make the choice whether to go to the top floor for like the break room or to use the hammer here. Grammy key had found in the basement, unlocked the door. Either that or we're going to find like a brick up here. The room looked like it had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? No, we just had a raging dance party. There was an old crowbar on the floor. We took the crowbar. Perfect. We're going to be able to break into the basement now. My basement. I'm breaking into my own house. Right? Not a crime. Not illegal to break into your own house. Because it's your house. You're not really breaking anything. You're just entering uh, your own home. Through an unconventional means. It's not breaking and entering, it's just entering. Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? Yes. With a heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed a hole large enough to step through. Imagine that just took down the whole house. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. Was Rachel down there? Is she okay? Yeah, she's not down here? Um, this wall was sealed. This says don't look, by the way. Um, so don't look. Close your eyes. Uh oh, don't look. I'm looking. A filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The center of them was awful, and it made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within, but I knew I had to, I had come this far. After all this searching, after all I had seen, when I looked with the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? No? What did we find? The rags were wet, matted, covered in dirt and grime, but inside that tatted mess there was no sign of my beloved wife. Rachel wasn't there. I looked around and confused and trying to find out what to do next. If she wasn't there, then where was she? What had I been searching for this entire time? I remember the look on Rachel's face when I came home, didn't I? Then the awful realization hit me right in the gut. I had been looking at this the wrong way, hadn't I? This is what you've been trying to tell me all along, isn't it? I couldn't find Rachel there and I won't find her anywhere else, because I have literal chills, I don't know why. She was never there at all, was she? 
I stumbled back upstairs. The pain in my leg just a dull ache now and sat in our, my bedroom. Mine was spinning and the ache I felt before was near crippling. Finally, I could no longer fight the exhaustion and I tried to grab hold of something that would make sense of all this. I must have drifted off. So we like, like Rachel was our imaginary friend? Is that what this is saying? Like she was an imaginary friend? I, I guess these books were actually all mine then. What? Wait, it actually was an imaginary friend. It was my wallet with its contents intact. Either I dropped that stuff off or somebody did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again, or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman stored that forest, the water tower. Was I at those places before? Yes. I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. What does that mean? There's nothing over this way. Oh, is this the same thing? My head was pounding. Oh, it just repeats that. Okay. Wait, so Rachel didn't exist then. This is what we just found out. It was a photo of the other man and his wife that I'd found in that house. Were those really his wife's remains in those tunnels? It certainly seems so. What did I think? Did the other man murder his wife and bury her in those tunnels? Probably. The sick guy must have. What else did that mean? There were some other questionable things in those tunnels. What else was he wrapped up in? The Mafia. In the shards of that broken mirror, I could see my face, gaunt now, hollow and stickly and immensely troubled. What other illusions had I dreamed up? What other truths were waiting to be exposed? Wait, so yeah, we're just declared... Okay. What a, what a realization. It was the key card I found in the factory, the one that allowed me to slip through that door. It seemed to me like that was probably Norman's, but if it was true, then what was he doing back at the plant? Did I think Norman was going back to the factory? Yes? It must have been him. He must have been using the old locker room. The laptop had finally run out of power. So Norman must have been the god. No, because Norman's dead. I just heard something behind me. I am terrified right now. In the dirt, faded, dirty faded glass, I looked like nothing more than a faint shadow. I used to tell myself that Rachel was the one who wanted to keep the tub. What the heckle? Yeah, I'm terrified, by the way, guys. Terrified. Not sure what I'm scared of. Deathly afraid. Deathly afraid. Did I keep going room by room with a house? My old office safe sat at the floor. I used to keep tax records and other important documents in it. I used a digital passcode lock, but I didn't have the code. Maybe I'd left it somewhere. I, s I surmised that at least two of the names in the musty notebook had been recent victims. Hey, her name's not on the list anymore. Rachel's not at the list. Those poor girls that I found dead in that forest. I wonder what happened to the other names on that list, or the ones scratched out on that desk in those wet tunnels. Okay. So we have to find the combination to the safe. I have goosebumps. What is happening? And to think I was going to play Five Nights at Freddy's instead of this. It was a letter I had taken from the post box. It had gotten a bit wet in the rain. Somebody had obviously had it out for Norman, but who? Oh no, Norman. If I was wrong about Rachel, then what about him? Did I kill him? No? I couldn't have. I clearly wasn't seeing things correctly. But no, I could never do something like that. The note wasn't from me. I had that old TV for so long, I don't know if I could even replace it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Earlier on, it that was a brand new TV. Remember, it was like, oh, a brand new TV. I got it because I didn't think I was going to lose my job at the factory. It seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back into the basement. No, 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 no. I need a, a combination lock. Pile of mail on the floor I now saw was addressed to me. Bills, credit card offers, and letters from the bank. They were all addressed to me. That was it. With Rachel gone, I couldn't stand to be in that house a moment longer. Did I leave and say goodbye to that nightmare forever? No. I didn't deserve to go. Not just yet. I gotta go to the basement. Gotta go to the basement. Maybe there wouldn't be anything for me to find, but I had to take a last look. One trip to the basement, get the locker combination, go upstairs, then we're out of here. If I was guilty, I could take it this to a warm, safe place and do something about it. Did I pick up the knife? No, no, no. There were other means of dealing with this. If I wanted to end it, I could do it. I could do it with a gun. Did I pick it up again? No. Just a thought made my head spin. I left the gun on the cold basement floor. 
Okay, so I guess we came down here to either grab the gun or the knife, which we're grabbing neither. Um, and then I guess now we can leave through the front door. Can we go through the back door? Can we go back to like Norman's house or something? We can leave through the back door. How many breakfasts had I eaten there completely alone? I must have locked the door. There was no reason to return to the backyard anyway. So no safe combination then. Where could we have picked up the safe combination? Um, I, I can't think of a place we might have missed, unless it was in one of the other yards. Yeah, okay. With Rachel gone, did I leave and say goodbye to that nightmare forever? We did. Since I had arrived in town, things had been difficult. Working in the plant, though, had been good for me. I kept, it kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that's when I started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. Drinking was probably just a way to deal with that. It was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain at its own game. Things stopped making sense sometime after that, and memories of what happened are still in flux. I suppose that was when Rachel came along. This night had been the worst of my entire life. Would it even be possible to bounce back from everything that had happened? Everything I'd seen? You know, in a way, I almost wish I hadn't even woken up tonight. It would have spared me a lot of pain. That man I'd found in the old house had killed his wife. I was sure of it. Just as sure as you killed mine. After making it out of those tunnels, I thought those sewers might feel safer. I was wrong. The security tape I'd watched showed someone being attacked by what looked like two people. But who was it that was, that was attacked? And what had I been doing at Norman's place, even in that old forest? It didn't look good, that's for sure. Had I been responsible for what happened there? What did you think? Was I guilty, or was I just mad? Just for a second, though, think about something else. Think about those poor girls I had accidentally discovered in the old forest. The notebook I had found in those wood had names in it. Names I think I saw somewhere else before. It couldn't have been me behind that, could it? I would never do such a thing to such sweet, innocent people. It was clear, at least, that Norman had been going back to the plant. Had he been the one to seal up that room? Was he drinking up there, alone? I thought perhaps he had something to do with that dead guard. But now you've got me all mixed up. I'm not even sure it makes sense anymore. I had to catch my breath to take it all in. At each point until the factory, things had only gotten worse. But then going to Norman's store, that's where the confusion and doubt started to set in. That's when my perspective on this all really started to change. Oh Norman, I don't know how you got mixed up in all this, but someone had killed you. My head was a mess. Everything ached and was foggy, so I don't know if you deserved what you got in the end. We were friends once, weren't we? Did you know about all this? Did you know what Rachel was? But as painful as all that was, oh no, I couldn't bear to think about it again. After all I had seen and done, finally coming home was something to, supposed to be to end this whole ordeal. I had no idea, though, that it was only the beginning. Silence in the house when I first stepped through the kitchen door. That should have been my first clue. To think that I went through all of that, completely unaware of what I would discover. Did you know before the end? Did you mock me when you finally showed me that truth? You don't know what it's like to have everything ripped away from you in a heartbeat. How could I possibly go on, knowing what i do, without Rachel? Even the thought of Rachel. I was lost. As the door swung open, I could smell damp grass and the closeness of the air. After everything, I felt like I had had more questions than answers. You made me see the truth, I'll give you that, but now I'm completely lost. You took away the only thing that had kept me going. I was sure word would get out, and soon enough, the police would come looking for me. And what then? Would you be there to show me the way? What will I do then? Holy buckets, ladies and gentlemen. Deep breaths. Everyone... Everyone take a deep breath. Okay. And get a gosh darn coat. It's freezing. Home is dedicated to my wife, Nancy. Watch your back. That's kind of a joke, I'd bet. Um... Share your story, connect with us, and check out our other games. Uh... Okay. Wow. Um, I'm like one degree. I'm freezing. Uh, I'm killed to the bone. So to explain the ending, at least my ending, because I think there's multiple endings, what would appear to me that this game was, was the main character telling us his story. And we were listening and answering in, right? Maybe you could say it was him having amnesia, right? But, but basically, he, he would ask, you know, right, oh, did I, did I pick up the book? Did I take the VHS tape? And we say, yeah, he did. And then we just manipulate him into changing his story. So, obviously, the question, was Rachel real? Did the main character kill Rachel? 
did the main character kill everyone, right? Including the guard, the girls in the forest, the other man. Um, that's up to you. Literally, you decide that. It, it, it appears. We basically just gaslight this guy into thinking whatever we want him to think. And in our scenario, we basically gaslit him into thinking his girlfriend was fake, but he was innocent. Uh, but basically now he's just completely lost in life because, surprise, his girlfriend is fake. Well, this video has been going on far long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. That was a really incredible game. You guys should totally play it yourselves if you want. Um, I would look up uh, Home Benjamin Rivers if you're interested. Uh, that's the easiest way to find it because home is not a very SEO word. Um, search engine optimized word, I mean. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end up this video here. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys turn my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.